Stay tuned after the video for a small update. It's been a long time since I did a mod review. Sometimes it seems like shoes I just can't fit in. But hell, I'll give it a shot. Vic Land adds a new world space for you to explore in Fallout 4. You can get to Vic Land by going on a tugboat that is more realistically parked next to Warwick Homestead, instead of the one that somehow got into Sanctuary. I'm looking at you, Midton. When you reach Vic Land, the first thing you'll notice is that it's not too different from the base game, which is honestly refreshing like I know I talked about other mods that are different from the base game being refreshing but it's just you know Midtown was all green Treacle Lands was barren but this one feels right at home it feels like something that would realistically be in the Fallout universe and apparently that's what they were going for and when it comes to that it was executed perfectly but there is one thing I want to say and that is that this mod is the definition of work in progress there's really only a few buildings and the city dock area is what from what it looks like finished Go past the city and you are met with just flat space, nothing else with a few buildings poking out of it. Plus the buildings that are there aren't that heavily modified from their base game counterparts, such as the Adam's Cat Garage. But what is there fits very well in. The atmosphere is spot on, and like I said before, it feels like it's Fallout 4. Tell you, I, I just love all, all these different world space mods. Each one has their own flavor. It's my favorite part. But anyway, one of the coolest features of this mod is the notes that are scattered around the world space. The notes are from the modders themselves talking about what they plan on doing in the game. And it's really, really cool. And something I would love to have other modders put into their new world spaces saying, Hey, I want to make this, you know, a shop. Or, hey, I'm going to put a bunch of raiders here. Or, hey, this is going to be a subway system. You know, something cool like that. So you know what's going to go out into the future without going into the Bethnet. And they said to yourself, they're very open to, to suggestions. So if you have an idea, you can comment on their Bethnet and they might take it. They say they will read all suggestions. Now I have a suggestion and I want you guys to help me with it. There's a movie theater, a drive-in movie theater in the map. It's at its very first stages of construction. But I want you to go on the Bethnet and first of all, give this thing five stars because it's great, but then comment below and suggest that we name the movie theater Spicus Drive-In. S-P-I-C-U-S Drive-In. Now don't, don't spam or anything, just comment one time and maybe we can get the movie theater named Spikus, and that would be really cool if it is you know I'm gonna film there a lot <laughs> but anyway that's Vicland it is a very cool mod and one that I would recommend checking out just like my other world mods it's not something you're gonna stay in for a long time but just checking it out and just seeing how cool this map is is really worth it so, anyway, I'm Spikus, I, I got stuck in a tugboat, and I'm out! Anyway, it's update time. Instead of making a separate update video, because this is really small, I'm just going to put it at the end of this video. Hopefully you stay tuned to see it. So, a few things going on. One, Talking Fallout is taking a lot longer than initially expected, trying to get people to come on, and uh, we're moving to semi-scripted now. 
because when I try to talk about my points, they all get jumbled together and it sounds like a crazy man rambling. On top of that, I am also in the middle of trying to upgrade my recording stuff. Uh, my audio, I know that my audio quality isn't very good and that's because I'm actually using the microphone built into my MacBook Pro. Which is okay for talking to people, but not okay for like actually recording audio. I'm also in the middle of uh, redoing a few new computers so I can use multiple ones at the same time, which will which will make editing go by faster and yada 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 all that. But the most important thing I wanted to talk about is my Twitter. Yes, I have a Twitter now, and this is where I'm going to kind of just use it to interact better with people who watch my stuff. The link for the Twitter will be down below. Uh, feel free to follow me, and I'll try to use that to keep people updated on what's going on, so that way I don't have to post 20,000 update videos. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so anyway, I've rambled on long enough. You know the whole situation right now. I'm Spike because I already did this bit and I'm out.